Hello, my name is Doug Davison from SmiteWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to add light to Fantasy Grounds Unity maps. So right now I've got a player map from the Tomb of Annihilation. So I went into my modules, found my Tomb of Annihilation, loaded it, and then pulled it up in my module here, went to Adventures, uh, sorry, to Images, and then located, let's see, shrink this down, look at Battle Maps, and there's a lot of different maps here, some really great ones. And I selected the Wormheart Mine Surface Map here. So now that I've got my map, I can close these windows down. And uh, let's add some lighting. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unlock it. And then here you've got, you can zoom in or out. Um, so if it's, you can use your mouse wheel to zoom, zoom in and out. Show hide shortcuts. Uh, disable player view. Um, and then... Here I've got line of sight and then lighting. So if I turn on lighting, you'll see it darkens the map, which you would expect because it doesn't have any lights defined yet. So the very first thing I'm going to do is we have an outdoor area here, which should get ambient lighting. And then we have an indoor area that should only have whatever lights the players bring with them. So uh, the very first thing I would do is let's set up the ambient lighting to get the outside to work. And then let's mask off the rest of the map. So I'm going to go to my lighting tab here. I've got select light, add light, token light, token vision, and then ambient lighting. So I'm going to go to my ambient lighting section, and then I'm going to select one of the presets, and I'm just going to select dawn, and you'll see that here it, it will apply an effect of all the shadows kind of going this way from the edges of walls, uh, and you'll see it's applying it to the inside of the map, which we do not want. We only want it to apply really to the outside of the maps here. And we even don't want it to apply here unless this is a roofless building, which could be, I suppose. We'd have to look at the description. I don't think it is. Though. I think it has a roof. So let's go. Now we have ambient lighting. Let's add a mask. Select a mask. And now I've got hide area or reveal area. So I'm going to stay in hide. And basically I'm just going to completely mask off the top part of the map here. And then we're going to hide this section here and this section here. Now I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to start just kind of click dragging. We'll see that it kind of follows my cursor just to give, you don't have to be exact here, you just kind of want to mask out part of it like so. And then again over here. Alright, so I've now masked it out. And we could decide if we want the light to pour in up to that point. That's probably fine. We could make it a little bit less jarring. All right, so now that I've got that masked, I've got my ambient lighting set. Now let's go and switch to add regular lights. And if I zoom in, you'll see that there's a torch here and here and a few more places. We could play around with different settings, whether we want uh, torches or candles or whatever. We have a group of presets. We have torches. And you'll see that it sets it to 20 and 40, and it sets the color of the light, the flicker effect, uh, or lanterns, uh, or candles. Lanterns or candles. So if I do a candle, just put a candle here, you'll see that that's what that looks like. If I do a torch, just add a torch here, a torch here, here, here. I'm just basically clicking with my settings. And now we have light on the map. And if I want to change this one, I switch back to select light mode. I can select it, and from a candle, I can say, okay, I want that actually to be a, a lantern, for instance, or I want it to be a torch. So there we go. I've got them all set, and that's basically it. That's all you really need. Uh, now your map is all lit. If I switch over here, I can now say, show me what the players see. And we've got line of sight and everything else. If I go in, I grab a character. Let's grab um, Mary. Put Mary here. Mary has a torch, but she has it turned off. So as Mary moves, she can kind of see in. Open this. And now she's opened a door, but she can't see unless she goes and turns on her torch. Now she's got a torch that she's going to carry around with her. She goes in and she can see. And then same over here, she can see, and then she can go and explore. So she's carrying her own torchlight, but even though she has a torchlight, she can see that there's light emanating from all of these other locations where there are torches. 
and she probably can't walk through the walls like that, but that's okay. She can move up, move around, and explore. So that's a map with both indoor and outdoor lighting in Fantasy Grounds. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.